The Agricultural Bank of Namibia's Agri-Advisory Services Division offers training to farmers and bank clients in various farming enterprises in all 14 regions of Namibia through face-to-face -face sessions. The AgriLearn online platform will share production content on various agriculture farming enterprises to build the knowledge of farmers from all walks of life. Join us as we embark on this virtual journey towards sustainable farming as we zoom into the basics of rangeland management. Good day farmers, my name is Erastus Ngaruga. I'm the technical advisor for livestock and rangeland management uh, for AgriBank Advisory Services Division. Uh, we are going to talk about photo production and processing. So as a farmer, as a livestock farmer, it's very important that you make sure that your animals have access to food every day or especially during the most difficult times uh, of the year. For example, during the drought or during the dry season. So this is what we call farm photo flow planning. So you need to make sure that there's photo resources available for you and you're also able to either uh, uh, purchase and stock and maybe use them during the difficult times. But to cut the cost of feeding your animals, you need to produce your own feed. So if you can't take care of your rangeland properly, uh, farming will become more expensive. And if you also can't produce your own food, uh, farming will still become or will be more expensive or costly to, to manage. So in that case, to minimize the cost of uh, feeding livestock, you need to produce your own feed. Okay, when it comes to uh, livestock farming, uh, you only have to do the basics, basic things, right? Animals need energy, they need protein, they need their minerals, and they need their vitamins. And you have to just get the most basic resources around your, your farming area. For example, you can process your own feed by uh, maybe harvesting your crop residues. You can uh, cultivate your pastas. Uh, uh, you can cultivate uh, lucerne, uh, grass. You can also collect some crop residues uh, from your crop field. For example, water production, uh, in taste that you have to produce your own and you have very many different sources that you can use. You can plant grasses. This is blue buffalo grass seeds. This is lucerne seeds. And you can also uh, collect resources like the, the pots, uh, camel corn pots and any other that you may have around you. And also make, make sure that you are using your crop fields very much efficiently. After collecting your, co your corn or harvesting your corn, you can also use the residues like this, uh, maize straws. So, and you need to also make an investment so that you at least add value to whatever uh, feed resource you are using on your farm. So you can invest in this machine, a hammer mill. Uh, uh, you can use uh, uh, any feed resource you can process from this machine. You can also make your own bush feed. You can process the pots here, the crop residues here and anything that is uh, able to help your animals, you can add value by processing them using this hammer mill. Okay, which is also good to process uh, because it will also make life easier for you by storing the feeds easily. You are able to mix them with other ingredients very easily if you process them. And also, you are also adding more value whereby you're increasing the intake and also the digestion uh, by the animal. All right, so your straws, could be your uh, energy base. You have your pots that, are, that can also provide you with protein. So at least now you have the most basic nutrients, energy and protein for your animals. And when it comes to commercial supplements, you can also use things like molasses meal uh, to add to the mix uh, to improve the taste and also the digestibility of the feed and make sure that the feed is attractive to the animal and the animal is able to eat and digest it easily. Okay, so this is what we call farm photo, flow, uh, farm photo flow planning, where you use any resource around you, your crop field, you cultivate your, your grasses, your lucerne, and any other, even pruning trees, uh, leaves, uh, some bush feed, you can also be, uh, make them part of the farm photo flow planning.
Okay, now you have seen uh, uh, pro the processing uh, part. I uh, have demonstrated the machine. You see how it works. So you can put anything that that is fit for uh, animal consumption. You can use your bush feed there. You can have your crop residues. You can have these uh, uh, straws and so forth. Now imagine uh, many farmers also do this mistake of just pushing animals into their crop fields to eat on these things. So these are too hard for the animals to even bite and digest. So you need to add value to them by processing it. So having coming from the, from the hammer mill, this is how it looks like. So now see this, the animals will find it very easily to, to eat this part or this feed, or this will be more attractive for the animals than these things. So that's why it's very important to process your feed by adding value. And you can see also with the pots, as whole as they are, they will add little value to the animals unless you just process them, especially the brown seed that is inside. That's what you have to break. So that, that is a true protein. You need to increase the surface area of any feed for digestion. So if you see, this is how they came out after from the hammer mill. You can see it's easy. You can also easily mix it with other ingredients. For example, this is molasses meal. And if you mix them, it's like you have protein and energy here, and then you add some tastes. Uh -huh. So you can also have a mixer, even a cement mixer can mix this for you, or any other form of uh, mixture that is uh, that you can find. Okay, so mixing it, and you can see at least the molasses is adding the taste. It's also binding and also reducing the dustiness from the uh, from the processed feeds. So processing is very important. It makes the feed more attractive and more useful to the animal. That's it for now. Join us next time for more valuable insight. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to avoid missing out on new content. Also, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram pages for more content.